Visit ASTLessons.com for lyrics and chords, sheet music, tablatures, useful links, and much more. Hey everyone, it's Robert here. So for this lesson, I will show Towers with Bon Iver. Now it's a bit challenging, but once you've learned it, it's really fun to play, so it's worth it. So to play along with the original, we also have the retune, a half step down. But for now, I will play with normal tuning. And then later on, towards the end of the video, I will explain how to for those who need it. Alright, so firstly, here's the sequence, here's the intro and verses. And all through, I will first show an easy way on each part, and then how to add the details. So, starting out, we hold a D minor, that's middle finger, 2nd fret G string, ring finger, 2nd fret C string, and then index finger, 1st fret E string. And the strumming goes like this. Once again. And this is kind of the main pattern that's used the most. So, once again, slowly. So you played once on that chord. And the first detail you can add is doing a hammer-on with ring finger on the first beat. So you land again between the two downs, like this. So the first part, like that. And then next we have two chords that play the same, and the shape is like an F, that's dropping ring finger from D minor. And the easier way is just to play down, down up, twice. So fast, like this. Once again. So slowly. And the extra here is picking the bass notes on these spots instead of a strum. But on most ukes, like this one with the high G string, it's of course not the bass note, but it's a right note. So first place is C string, and then A on G string. Second, so together it's like this. Once again, a bit faster. So, everything that those two parts together first, easy way. And then 
advanced way. And after that, we just move the bass note to third fret with ring finger. And if you want to, you can keep the middle finger behind. And for easy version, we just play the main pattern twice. So slowly. But for advanced version, we start with the pick again and G string. And then end the first bar with picking A string instead of up strum. And I prefer to pick it upwards. So like this. Once again. And the last bar is just strumming and it's almost like the main one except we skip the first down. So with counting it's like this. One and two and three and four and so last two bars together. Again. And now all together slowly, first easy version. And then advanced version. So for the intro, you play it four times, and then in verse one and two, three times, and then lastly for verse three, you could play the same, but in the studio version, he actually plays this verse two steps lower. So for those interested, I will explain later. And the next sequence is for the courses. So after verse 1, we go like this, starting with the C, with the little finger, 3rd fret A string. So even if you don't usually use it, you should hear. And all through, we use the same main pattern. So on C, we play two rounds. And after that, we have a D minor 7. That's like a mix between a C and a D minor. So, like this. And here we just play one round. And next, release the top two strings. And then place middle finger, fret 3 G string, giving us B flat, sus 2. And again, we play one round. So those three chords is kind of the core of this sequence. And after, we have different endings for each song part. So these three together sounds like this. First fast. And then slowly. So you play it two times in chorus one, and then chorus two three times, and once again for the last chorus you could play the same as chorus two, or tune down like I will show later on. And then for endings we start like this in verse one, so we play two rounds of C to one round of D minor seven. But 
and after we take a chord similar to B flat, sus2, but we add a middle finger, second fret the C string, so we get add instead, and you play four rounds on this chord. that we play F like I showed before and here we play three rounds and then end with a single strum being held for one bar two three four so all of it Two, we start the same with two rounds of C and one round of D minor seven. But then for B flat at two, you have two options. So the easy way is just playing four rounds and then start the next part, which is the bridge. So basically, like the first one, except you skip F. And then for the advanced version, you play three and a half rounds instead which means three normal rounds and then going down down and then right before the bridge that's the next part we also have a transition that's first the third fret on E string and to get smoothly into the next part let's start with A flat you have to use smart fingering so what I like to do is firstly on the chord instead of using the bar version I use this version instead, that's muting first string, and then index finger, third fret, ring finger, fourth fret, and middle finger, third fret, and then for the transition, I'll start with the index finger, obviously, since it's there, and then I use ring finger, third fret, and over the chord, you slide it, and then add the other two. So slowly, we get this. Once more. And now a bit faster. And after this, is where you sing spill your tether rain out. And this brings us to the bridge, that's totally different from the other parts. So we now start on C minor, that's sparring 3rd fret, with ring finger, 5th fret G string. And for strumming here, we got a new pattern, that sounds like this. Once again. And slowly. So on C minor, we play it twice. And then same on next chord, that's a B flat, barring first fret, with ring finger, fret fret G string, and then middle finger, second fret C string. So like this. Then after that, we go to A flat, which this time I play as a bar chord. So it's almost like C minor, but adding middle finger, 4th fret E string. And for this chord, we play main pattern four times. Sorry for the tired hand, by the way. And we play these three chords twice. And then lastly, we have two new chords, but with main pattern. 
So first, you have two rounds on D dim. That's index finger, first fret G string, followed by ring finger, second fret, and then middle finger, first fret, and then skipping last ring, for which I kind of bend the hand like this, muting it. So. So two rounds. And then after that, we play E flat. That's open G string. And then ring finger, fret fret C string. Followed by little finger, fret fret. And then index finger, first fret. And here, first play three rounds. And then strum and hold. Now lastly, here's the key change for those of you who would rather play the last verse and chorus as the original. And then for the rest of you, just play these parts, like verse 2 and chorus 2, and skip this. So firstly, keep in mind that what works on guitar doesn't always work on ukulele. So on guitar, you can just play the same two steps down using capo. But since we're playing all the way down already on ukulele, it's not as easy. But at least all through, it's the same strumming as previous parts. So we start on C minor. So easy version, just one normal round. And for the bass version, start with the hammer for the fifth. So like this. Once again. And then after that, release ring finger and add little finger, sixth fret, E string for first half. And then second half, release it. So easy version like this. Again. And for the last version, just pick E string first here and then here. So, like this. And then lastly, add ring finger, fifth fret G string. And middle finger, 4th fret E string, so an E flat. And the easy way, just play two rounds. And then for the last version, once again, start picking E string. And then add 7th fret C string here. But this time, I don't pick it. And right after we play, we release again. So slowly, like this. Oops, once again. Yeah, my hand is really tired. Slowly. Then for chorus 3, we go from two rounds of B flat. To one round of C minor 7. To one round of A flat at 2. That's the same, but adding middle finger, 4th fret, C string. So one round, slowly. three chords three times and then after that you almost do another round so still two rounds of B flat to one round of C minor 7 but ending with a single strum on A flat 
So that's all of it. And I know it's a lot to learn, but in my opinion, it's both fun to play and it sounds almost like the original on guitar. So now all that's left is the tuning for those of you who want to play along with the recording, that is. But of course, it also works in normal tuning if you're playing alone.